Today I'll be trying to survive 100 laps of Maxi Road on MX Bikes, and it pretty much destroyed the game. Let's hop right into it. All right, everyone, welcome back to the MX Bikes. Here. Today we hit the like goal on the last 100 laps of Euro video. So as you can see, we got 200 mile an hour wins here with Maxi Road again, and we're going to be doing another 100 laps here. Uh, I did ride around a little bit before this started to see how the wind felt. I reset the track and everything, and uh, you can definitely feel a little bit, but not accurately for 220 miles an hour because if it was 220 miles an hour we'd be in the fences right now <laughs> but you know besides that we're on the club of mech stock track you know i really wanted to play this track i don't know why so uh, i figured we'd do it on the stock track here 100 laps of this here and you know i'm a little concerned for my safety you guys and um we're gonna see what 100 laps of max e road looks like on the club mx track here today and also you guys i wanted to say something quick before we got too far into this video i really do appreciate the support you guys gave on the last year video it was awesome so i appreciate that you guys and uh also let me know down below would you guys like to see maybe a max erode mud edition i've never done that i don't know if you guys would like to see a max erode mud edition let me know maybe like 100 laps of mud oh my god that'd be torture but anyways you guys we're gonna hop in this here and see what 100 laps of max erode looks like on club mx you know which I'm going to be here for a while, okay? We all know that here. But we're coming out for our first lap here. Let's gauge how the e road's going to look on this track. Oh, my God. It doesn't look horrible, bro. But I can tell it's going to be deep, dude. Okay, yeah, this is going to be deep, dude. I can already freaking tell. Because these little ruts, right? Oh, my God. One thing I'm not looking forward to based off the look of these ruts, these ruts look extremely jagged so i'm a little concerned for how much i'm gonna fall and stuff i think we'll be back here to check in around the lap 10 mark you guys we will be back and I, i'm kind of scared man i'm kind of scared that's all all right you guys we've just arrived at lap 10 here and uh i'm not gonna lie okay hear me out track's pretty sick uh the e-road's not too bad as of right now it's starting to get deep in spots so as you guys can tell but this is still very well rideable at a pretty decent pace still like very very rideable as you can tell the ruts are actually kind of cool on this they're more not horribly jagged yet but i know they probably will be and as you guys can tell there's a whole lot of lines already right but they're like i said look at this it's it's still fairly rideable like i'm having i have not gone to that inside yet i'm trying to savor it i've not had any issues with these ruts you can still rip into them and go right off the lips perfectly fine so i'm liking this compared to the four uh compared to forest not the forest i do know once we hit probably the around probably the lap 30 mark stuff's gonna start going downhill and uh, there is a little jagged rut every once in a while right there but for the most part it, it's pretty sick right now but like i said we are only 10 laps in and i know it's only gonna go downhill from here but look at the ruts they actually look pretty sick onto the 11th lap uh clock in the 10th lap so i guess let's put some more laps down i'll probably see you guys around the lap 20 mark and uh yeah i'm, I'm i think when we tune back in for the lap 20 mark track might be a little hammered but we'll be back shortly you guys we will be back all right you guys we are back we're about to clock in the 20th lap right there has been started <sighs> track has gotten a lot worse to say the least okay check it out um the ruts aren't horribly deep though yet so it's still very very rideable um so the high wind's not doing a whole lot um but so far right now the e-road is pretty bad um, and we're, like I said, about to clock in lap 21 here, or I mean clock in lap 20 and beyond 21 here. But, uh, there is some spots that I still have not used, like, all the way out here. There is still a couple free lines, but in some sections, it's toasted. And like I said, you guys, we're only on lap 20. So we got 80 more laps of this here. As you guys can see, for 20 laps, the track is toast, and we still gotta go 80 more. There it is right there. We'll be back around lap 30, you guys. And, uh, yeah, I I'm a little concerned. We've arrived on lap 30 as you can see in the top left here and track has gotten a lot worse now it's starting to get to where it's not necessarily the worst but the jagged edges are starting to show and it's starting to get pretty hard to ride some you can still clear every jump on the track but sometimes if you can't find a line through a certain section like right here you might not be able to make it but we found a line through there kind of up over that and try to double over this there we go but as you guys can tell there is ruts look at those jagged edges how am i alive Pretty much on every face right now, and the track is getting pretty sketch here, and we still got 70 laps to go, so... But for the most part, you know, the, the track's not that deep, honestly. It's not. It's also with how much room there is right there. That's the main issue, though, with the ruts right there. But I'm still surprised with the fact there is still so much free track that's, like, not rutted up yet. Like, 
compared to Forest or something, we would already have the whole track pretty much rutted up, I think. At least that's what it felt like. But here, there's still some spots. But as you guys could see, it's starting to get really, really bad compared to 10 laps ago. So this is where it's going to start to take a long time because it's starting to become really unrideable and jagged edged out. As you guys can tell, everything we hit is just all jagged edge. The front end tries to knife into all the ruts. It's just getting sketch on this game. But you know... We're going to stick it out. we got 70 more laps to go. And, uh, yeah, you guys, we're about to clock in the 31st lap here in the books right here. There we go. 31st lap is in the books. And, yeah, I think we'll check back in around 40, you guys. We will be back shortly. Well, for you guys shortly, but for me, an eternity of suffering. So, <laughs> we're back here, and we're about to clock in lap 39. And uh, I'll show you guys a full lap around for lap 40. So, we're about to put in lap 39 right here, which will tick over to 40 here. And we will be almost halfway done, but not really at the same time because we still got 10 more laps to go before we hit 50. At this point, I'm just trying to go to these outsides like right here, you guys. That way the lines kind of stack on top of each other, you know, instead of like um, going all over the track. So I'm trying to preserve as much track as possible here and leave as much clean track. But as you guys can tell, it's really not working as we have already done 40 laps on here. And track is starting to get hammered. And I'm kind of concerned that we're not even halfway there yet. And it already looks this bad. So I'm a little scared for my safety here, for what it's going to look like here in another 60 laps, let alone 10 more. Jeez. Well, you guys, we are about to clock in the 40th lap right here. And uh, one thing I will say, though, about this track is the jagged edges and the ruts are very slick compared to Forest. Like, it's Forest was slick, but this is way slicker. And it's, like, really slick. 40 laps of E-Road so far. We got 60 more to go, guys. We will be back around the 50th mark. And we'll see what torture we will be in for then. We are just started the 50th lap. Look at the track. Oh my. It's just bad. Uh, the worst spot is probably right before the finish line, you guys. I'll show you guys when we get over there. But it's getting really bad. And we're 50 laps in. And that is officially the halfway marker. So I am hyped, bro. I've been here for a fat minute. But oh, I, I can't believe how bad it's starting to get. It went from, you know, pretty rideable, not horrible to now it's it's really bad like it, all these ruts yeah it, it's bad that's all i gotta say it's bad yeah this is the worst corner on the track look at this oh my god and we are officially 51 laps in just like that we're halfway to go when I mean, we were halfway but we still got halfway to go is what i meant so let's get underway here put our head back down see if we can't spin some laps and i'll be back shortly you guys all right you guys we have just started the 60th lap here and the track is bad. Now it's hard to clear pretty much anything, even the small jumps. But there's one thing I wanted to say real quick. Uh, if you guys enjoy these type of videos, let me know down below. Drop a like and try to do 200 laps, 300 laps, like more and more. I mean, 100 takes forever. So if you guys would like to, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, we might have to in the future. But I would like to try to do more than 200 laps, like one time do a 300 lap max e road. I feel like that would take so long. If you guys would like to see, the, uh, let me know down below and I'll definitely consider it. But uh, yeah, you guys, this is what the track's looking like. Uh, it's it, it's pretty hammered. It's really hard to even, like right here, check this out, you guys. It's really hard just to even get the speed to get over this. And then this double right here is really sketch as well, but we're still hitting them. But uh, yeah, this is 60 laps of max e road and we still got 40 more laps to go. If you want to see a 200 lap max e road, Let's try to hit 300 likes. I know that's a ton. 200 laps would take a good four and a half hours probably. So if you guys like to see that, let, drop a like down below and let me know. And uh, yeah, we're on lap 61 now, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put my head back down. And we'll meet you guys here soon. All right, we are here at lap 69. About to be 70 here once I uh, do a lap here. Yeah, uh, as you guys can tell, it's starting to get so bad. Kind of like Forest. To where it's getting so bad that it's kind of getting better, but then it's going to get worse again. That's I remember how that went. It went from getting really bad to a little better to extremely bad. So it's going to start getting worse here a little bit here. But it's not horrible. I mean, I'm going about 10 miles an hour right now. 70 laps in. We're dead. <laughs> so we still got about to hit 70 laps uh, right now. Uh, but we still got 30 more laps to go, which is 30 way too many for me. If I can make it through this section, bro. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. That face is just all pointed out. And we are officially on lap 70, you guys. I'm going to put my head back down again and try to finish this out. We have officially hit the 90th lap. And the track's kind of stagnated. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's gotten worse, but it hasn't at the same time. It, it, I don't think it's got to the extreme that Forrest has here. Look at the rollers, bro. Check out this line, you guys. This line I took the last lap. I kind of liked it. It was over here. 
<laughs> just freaking ch ch checked right past him, bro. I was fired up. But, yeah, this is 90 laps that you rode so far. We are uh, down to the final 10 laps here today. And, you know, I could not be more happy to be almost done with this challenge because I am pissed, bro. I have crashed so many times. I can't even tell you guys. Look at the sheer amount of lines through here. Everywhere. Like, bro. It's just ridiculous, dude. And it's just... It's MX Bikes for you. Guys, if you look up in the top left, we are on the 99th and final lap. And I could not be more damn excited to be here. And we're about to finish this out here today. And uh, you guys are going to see the track here for one last time as well as me. And then we'll check it out in replay as well so we can get like a good overhead view of it. So you know you guys can see what the track's looking like. But all in all, compared to Forest... I don't know. They're both really bad in their own ways. This one's really more jagged, slick type. And then Forrest was more like really um, deep ruts and really even sketch. Like, look at this face, you guys. Oh, my God. It's just gone. I mean, it is 100 laps, so I could see why. But uh, I must have accidentally cut on the last lap because if you take a look up at the top left, it only counted my first two sections. Uh, I don't remember cutting off track, but I must have accidentally. Can I get the fuck? But yeah, honestly, all in all, it got pretty bad. Um, did I think it would get worse? Not necessarily, but in a way, yes. I thought the ruts would get more deeper on here, but they seem to just plateau out. Like, you guys, check this out. I went in this outsider here probably a good 30, 40 straight laps, and... It's not as deep as I thought it would be. I had to go back to pit as well so many times for gas and to fix my tires. Not fix, but reset tires. It was insane. And that is 100 laps. It goes to the hashtags yet again. So that's how you know we completed the challenge here. And let's take a look at the freaking track, dude. Oh my god. This is 100 laps of max E-Road. Holy. It's so bad. So bad, dude. Well, you guys, I think we're going to wrap it up there. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like and sub down below and a like to ease the pain a little bit. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next video, boys. Everyone have a great rest of your day. Holy hell, this is bad.